How do you work miracles on your vinyl record jackets? Cleaning them, cleansing them, making them look as good as new. Simple green, that does the trick. I'm gonna show you how. That's coming up next. community, music lovers, record collectors, and anyone else who just happened to stumble upon this video. Welcome to Tone and Groove. My name is Jeff and uh, this is going to be, this is a how-to video. Um, I mentioned in a, I mentioned in a video, a Vinyl Finds video a while back, um, the, about the miracle, the simple green miracle and how I use simple green, uh, to clean my record jackets. Um, and how I mentioned in the video, how it, um, simple green will take off dirt. It'll take off sometimes, um, that kind of dirty kind of black ring wear, um, from light colored jackets and whatnot. And somebody, I don't remember who, so my apologies to this viewer who left the comment and asked for this video, but someone asked, um, you know, could you make a video showing, you know, this simple green cleaning process? And um, I'm actually cleaning records today, um, was out and about um, digging for records while I was on vacation. Um, and of course came home <laughs> with a bunch. And um, I've got a cup of, of bleh. I have a jacket or two um, that are quite dirty and I'm going to use a simple clean and I'm gonna show you um, what I do and show you the before and after results. Um, so I just thought I might, I might need to, anyway, here's the, this is the, the first one of the jacket, the first jacket I'm going to clean. Um, this is a trad jazz record, um, Robinson's Jacinto. Um, it's on the GHB label. And as you can see, um, it is is quite dirty. We got spots up here, dirt here. Um, we got some ring wear. It's it's dirty down here. Um, in fact, I may pause this video and and take a photo up close so you can get a still shot. But um, you know, you've got like here's some of that you know black kind of ring wear kind of stuff. Um, got some in here um there's also some some of that um the brown spot which which is actually called foxing um some of that's dirt though so anyway um that's the state of this jacket and i'm going to use the simple green technique and uh, take some of this off um and sh show you what i do we'll get a before and after want to do this uh jacket cleaning method you're gonna need some a bottle of this concentrated simple green, one of the spray bottles. Um, and you're just gonna use it as is, not gonna dilute it, not gonna water it down, same thing, right? <laughs> uh, but just straight out of the bottle. Um, simple green, the concentrated uh, formula. You're gonna want that. And then um, a soft cloth I use, um, and I literally use, um, green <laughs> just so that I and my wife know that these are my record cleaning or jacket cleaning claws but anyway this is what it was like you know microfiber um, claws I think we get these at Walmart um, so uh, you're gonna want but soft you know something soft uh, that's gonna be you know as non abrasive as as possible and um, basically you know you're just going to shoot the spray the simple green right on the cloth um, not until it's soaked but just you know um till there's a nice sheen shall we say 
uh, just lightly damp on the top and then you're going to gently rub your jacket and I'm going to point the camera down so you can see what I'm doing here. There we go. You can see. So you're just going to lightly rub. Not, I'm not really pressing down. I'm just kind of lightly rubbing. I usually just kind of go over the whole thing and then we'll hit um, whoop, troubled, trouble spots. Just lightly, lightly going over that. Um, the glossier the jacket cover, the better. Um, if it's a, you know, a flat jacket, um, you have to be very careful uh, with that because you can easily um, get the cardboard soaked and then you're going to have all kinds of problems. It's going to start falling apart. Uh, so the glossier, the better. Even there, you don't want to go too wet because you will then, you know, it will soak through and then you'll literally start pulling the, you know, cardboard and whatnot all apart. So other side yeah that foxing um, is not going to come off I don't think so I don't know if you could see that in this shot I can't <laughs> the way the cameras turn I can't see exactly what you're seeing so I don't know if you could I'm you know from time to time just kind of putting uh, a fresh coat if you will of the simple green on that rag um here you know see this side is not as glossy so i'm gonna i'm gonna stop here um try to get some of this over here because that is um it's starting to soak through there so i'm gonna this is where i'm gonna stop and let's see what we got all right, here we go. Here's our jacket now. I'm gonna dry it a little bit. Um, world of difference. Look at that. Look at that. Still got a, still got some of this in the center here that did not come off. Um, the back looks like that. Um, you can see some of that ring wear, um, um, on the top edge came off and the bottom, um, in the, you know, stuff in the middle there didn't, didn't come off. So, uh, that stayed, but that is a much cleaner and a lot better looking jacket, uh, than it was before. Um, uh, but those dry, ugh. Let those dry well before you put your records in there. I'm going to do another one quick, but you can see this is um, um, a Wild Bill Davis on the Jazzology label. You can see it's got some uh, heavy kind of ring wear, wear there. Um, my rag is still damp from the first record, so I'm not going to put more on there. Just going to kind of quick, you know, lightly go over that and see if it comes off. Sometimes it comes, you know, this stuff comes right off. Sometimes not so much. Again, I'm always trying to be careful. Just gonna go ahead and get the whole thing while I'm at it, but I'm really concentrating on that kind of ring wear spot up here at the top edge. Yeah, it's coming off a little bit. And there's some on the back. I'm gonna get that too. That came right off. Boy, I don't know if you can see that. That just came right off on the white. Still a little bit there, but uh, let's try this again here. Okay, I'm gonna go one more time because it's it's coming. <laughs> Dry that. Here we go. 
still there a little bit, but that it looks a lot better. Back. Uh, yeah, looks nice. That one was really decent to begin with, but anyway. <laughs> Simple green, and, it, and it's this is a technique that I can't even take credit for. Um, I actually got this off of, um, read about it on the website, LP Cover Lover, which is obviously a website dedicated to record jackets and covers and the artwork and whatnot. And they, uh, the owner of that website mentioned this, the simple green technique um, in his uh, website. So it's a great technique. It works well, simple green, a little simple green on a clean, soft um, cloth will do miracles. It'll work miracles on record jackets. Highly recommend it. Um, be careful, don't, don't get them too wet. <laughs> um, and go gentle, it'll work miracles. Restoring your jackets, cleaning them up and making them look fantastic. Thank you so much for watching. Drop some comments, ask questions, chime in. Always love um, the back and forth, the feedback and the interaction. And until next time, stay in the groove.